Okay, welcome to how to make your very own Pokemon video game tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the uh, downloads that are necessary to get to edit the game. Uh, I'm sorry, my hypercam was messed up, so the words on some websites you won't be able to read. So just listen closely to what I say. First website um, we're going to need to go to is wahackpokemon.com. It's going to be on the screen in a second. Uh, it's a website that is in Spanish, but I'm going to give you a Spanish lesson so you can understand all the stuff you need to go do. So you're going to open up the website, and there's a Cresslea up in the corner right there like that. And there's a little pop-up in the bottom corner. You have to close that or else you won't be able to do anything. You want to go to this link to Scaragres, and then close the, thi close the little pop-up down low. There it is. And go to Hermiantas GBA. Okay? And that's like... You'll get this page with the Game Boy on it. Now, here's our Spanish lesson. Uh, idioma means language. Multi-idioma means multi-language. Inglés means English. Español means Spanish. And so they're going to tell you what language each download is in. And please pick a language you can understand. If you can't speak English, don't download an English version. Well, actually, if you can't speak English, you shouldn't be watching this tutorial. So I suggest if you can't speak English, you leave right now. But yeah, it's really easy to understand. As you can see, the titles of the thing are in English, and then it's a Spanish description. So it's really easy to get. Descaragres over there, that means download. And so you're going to download that. At least I think it means download. And uh, I'm going to tell you which ones you need to download at the end of the video. And uh, there's, it's as you can see, it's a really long list. So just go down and find each one that you need. And remember, that's wahackpokemon.com. Now I'm going to tell you what emulator you need. So we're going to go to emulatorzone.com. It's a website where you get emulators. Emulators are programs that play video games from pretty much any system ever made on your computer. It's a really cool thing. Uh, emulatorzone.com. It's on the screen right now. And uh, once you get there, you'll get uh, emulator zone stuff. Oh, look, I won the hourly prize. Yay. There's Sonic and Mario, Emulator Zone, scroll down, here's Z GBA, Visual Boy GBA, that's the one we want, find that on Google, and then uh, I'm going to teach you how to download in case you were too retarded and you don't know how, so you're going to cl double click that one, uh, Visual Boy GBA, and click save, save it in whatever file your hacking stuff is, if you don't have a hacking file yet, make one, and then uh, find your hacking file, in my case it's video games right there, and uh, it'll open up and I click save, yes, because I have to override it because I already have this on my computer. In just a second, there will be a, those buttons will say open and open folder. And so I'll click on open right there, and it'll open the folder that I downloaded it to. And in a second, it'll be open up here, there. And then you see the icon like that, boxing, that means you got to extract all files. So click next, next, yes to all if you get that thing. You don't get it every single time. And you click finish. And then you'll get this, and you'll get the Game Boy Visual Boy thing. Now, Visual Boy is a really cool program. You just click Run, and can close both of those. It'll open up in the corner. It's a uh, you got file tools and stuff up here. It's really easy to understand. Anyone can get it. Like a three-year-old can understand this. If you can't understand it, I'm very very sorry if I insulted you. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to get ROMs. ROMs are the games for the emulator. They you have to make sure you get the right ROM for the right emulator or else you'll be screwed and you'll be getting the wrong kind of ROM. So uh, we're going to go to Dope ROMs to get Pokemon Ruby version and Dope ROMs will be up on the screen in just a second. That's the website right there. And uh you search it uh and find Pokemon Ruby version. I'm going to teach you how to do all your hacking and editing in Ruby version. And hacking basically means you can change like what Pokemon are in the game. You can even make your own Pokemon, make like make Professor Oak call you a piece of turd in the beginning if you want. I don't even care. Like whatever you want. Uh and do all this random crap and be cool with it. Just be a pimp. <laughs> uh scroll down to Visual Boy Advanced right there. No, Game Boy GBA. Game Boy Advance, that's what you want. And then you're going to scroll down, and there will be a list of letters and stuff, and like all the games on that they have, all the ROMs that they have for the Game Boy. So we're going to go to the letter P, because Pokemon starts with P, uh, in case you didn't know your alphabet. And here you got all your P words that are going to be here. Right here, there's Pac-Man starting with A. Pokemon's pretty far down the list, so we're going to go to the next page. Uh... And, oh, there's Pokemon Emerald, Pokemon Ruby, but that's in French. Make sure you get a language you can understand again. 
Uh, here's Pokemon Ruby GBA. That's in English. That's the English one. There you get that. And you click on that. It'll take you to another page like this with that on it. You click download now with the little arrow. Uh, let's see here. And scroll down. Uh, line 2 is longer, by the way, in, math, in a mathematical perspective. But the that's not mathematical, so it's actually the same, just to let you know, in case you were wondering. And I already have this, so I'm gonna, just going to click cancel. You download it like any other file. All these file downloads are the same as that one I showed you how to download. Now you open up your video games folder or hacking or whatever and go to Visual Boy Advanced, open that up, open up your emulator and it'll open. I'm going to teach you how to use it. Now you go to file open and uh, this is where you open your ROM that you're going to play. You can get any ROM. It's always good to make copies of the Pokemon ROM if you're editing it because if you screw up like I did on file 2 you'll still have the original and you can make another copy and try again. So here's the original. Uh, it'll small like that. Just press the box and press the box again, and it'll get big. Z is A, X is B. The movement arrows are moving, and then the space bar is fast forward. So it's really awesome, especially since you have a fast forward button. I think it makes the game a lot better. Sorry, I was moving my mouse around, and that messes it up on the uh, hypercam. Uh, but in the next video, I'm going to teach you how to put your own Pokemon in the game and how to make your own Pokemon. So the downloads that you're going to need to do this is Pokepick. Advanced Text, Amart, Advanced Map, Yape, Advanced Starter, Overworld Editor, Visual Boy Advanced, Pokemon Ruby Version ROM, Paint, and then Paint comes with the computer. It sounds like a lot, but it's really not as all. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.